tick season it is here as the warm weather has arrived and people are headed outdoors just enjoying the beautiful weather and according to experts the peak season is usually running between May and August. Yeah, Blake Lipton is in your corner tonight with tips on how to prevent taking home one of those pesky parasites. Well, Josh and Sarah, ticks can carry a number of diseases, including Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever and Lyme disease. I spoke with experts today about the types of ticks you can find in our region, as well as ways people and pets can avoid tick bites and diseases. In general, over the last 20 years, winters have been getting milder and tick populations, as well as incidents of tick-borne diseases, have been on the increase. However, when it comes to this year's tick population, ETSU Biological Sciences Professor Dr. TJ Jones says it's hard to predict. It wasn't a very cold winter, so perhaps they'll be a little bit higher. American Dog, Brown Dog, and Lone Star ticks are the most common types found in East Tennessee. Jones says the American Dog and Lone Star ticks can carry Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever, but the likelihood of getting it is very rare. Deer ticks, which carry Lyme disease, are noticeably absent in East Tennessee. However, deer ticks are fairly close to here, uh, ranging into southwest Virginia, and there is an outbreak of Lyme disease around the Roanoke area. That can mean cases of Lyme disease can be carried in from other states. Well, the best thing to do, and I recommend doing this all year round, is keeping your pets on a flea and tick medicine. Pets can either take a pill, have a topical medicine applied, or wear a tick collar to prevent the parasites. These medicines are very effective. As soon as the tick bites them, I've found that the ticks will immediately start to feel the effects of the medicine and slow down. To protect yourself, Jones suggests keeping brush low around the home, wearing long sleeves and long pants, and using repellents containing DEET or permethrin. He also said doing a tick check after being outdoors is important. It's also advised you should talk to your doctor immediately after you have been bitten. They're easy to treat, particularly if caught early. However, if gone untreated, the ramifications um, can be potentially permanent and even lead to death. Now, typical symptoms of Rocky Mountain spotted fever include headaches, high fever, chills, and even nausea, as well as red spots or rashes on the skin. Lyme disease can also have many similar symptoms, including muscle and joint aches, swollen lymph nodes, and a bullseye pattern rash. Blake, thanks. And Lyme disease vaccines are available for, available for pets, but there are currently no Lyme disease vaccines available for people.